So yeah, if anybody wants to know how to put those rings on, if you get that Vapormatic kit, which we got, which is officially, I guess, reference to Perkins or direct correlation with Perkins from the dealer, that's what you got to do. And I didn't realize that they had that oil sweep ring. It was a multi-ring set. And the, and the old one, it was actually a cast iron one, which it calls for in the book here. Sorry, I'm showing you kind of whatever. But that's how that compression ring has to orientate. You got to hold the, the ring in your hand. And if it points up, that that's what way the orientation of the ring goes. And you should be able to get something like this in this diagram on your compression ring, which is the third ring down. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You squeeze it together until they just slightly cross the two ends. And if it's pointed up, as you see here, it goes. I remember, it was first one was up, the second one was down, and then again, you had to do it twice. But yeah, kind of interesting. Got the sleeve in. Hard to, once again, hard to do with just holding this camera and doing it, but I assure you, we got her in. And it came in there pretty well. We put her in the put it in the freezer, and I actually used this 300 watt light bulb here, and we heated the sleeve, the cylinder wall up, a bit, and with little effort, it went pretty much three quarters of the way in, and the rest of the way I had to kind of tap in with a with a hammer and a piece of wood, obviously. I took my height gauge, I don't have a dial indicator, took my height gauge and in the book it calls for anywhere from, it has to be flush to four thousandths of an inch and it's right flush. So we're right in spec there and that's good. So I got the piston in, oh this is the old one obviously and I was talking about that the ring set that came with the kit. As you can see this piston here it used two solid cast or cast not really solid but they're just an individual ring instead of multi rings. The bottom one was the same but this one here this oil ring right here it's just a single one on this and whereas that other one was multi and then obviously the compression ring is number three right here on that other piston it was Malt on the new one, it was multi rings, whereas this one's a solid cast ring, like this. Same goes with this one. This one is a chrome plated top ring, and this is just a solid cast ring, I guess they say. And that's what was in the kit, and that's what it calls for in the book. Uh, I got the piston in, as you can see, it's all in, looking beautiful. Uh, a bit of dirt got down there, we'll have to try to get that out obviously from this dirty old rag or something, but we oiled it all up and we made sure the rings didn't line up, obviously, in there. They were all segregated in the correct orientation within reason. Um, got that torque down, the rods in, and the cap, and the torque for that is 45 to 50 right in there yes so that's what we got it torqued to and we're just working next on that oil pan which we did fix that little crack thing we used the the welding epoxy aka JB weld and it come up pretty nice got it all polished up buffed up got the other part all buffed up and we'll get that oil pan on and we'll go from there. We did order a new head for it. The machine shop came and told us that the, well, the head would, could have been fixed, but it had in the cylinder area on the compression chamber on the top, I guess, of the head, it had severe pitting. And what the machinist told us is that was from water. So obviously, kind of going along with the idea that the rad froze uh, that would indicate you used water so it had water in it obviously and that caused severe pitting in the top of the the head so 
he thought he could maybe mill it out and or he couldn't mill it out it would it wouldn't have looked pristine and he was concerned about it but he thought it might work still and we priced the new head as opposed to fixing that one and it was pretty within pretty well within reason the new head was $750 Canadian and the repair cost was anywhere from five to six hundred dollars the machine shop so I guess we went with the obvious option of just getting new uh, that's coming out of the United States and should be here within a couple of weeks so yeah it's coming along we should have this thing running again hopefully I don't really know what I'm doing we don't know what we're doing because we're just silly farmers got the oil pan pretty well installed what a frickin nightmare that is the oil pan itself it's I don't know ridiculously hard to get in with this tractor together and I think the only reason it came apart the way it did is because we ended up breaking that little ear off on the that portion of the gear train that's attached to the oil pan itself so and literally I don't know whether it's all the models of these tractors but literally you have to remove that piece of gear train to get that oil pan out there's no other way uh, with the tractor together in this fashion so that's what we ended up doing we took that piece out and first we we're like oh well we can probably just jack it up and leave that out and put it up after nope you can't do that you literally have to join the two or bolt the two pieces together on the existing gear train just kind of leave it a little bit loose and then you jack it up after and corkscrew your hands any way in any fashion desirable to get up and try to get these bolts and there's like eight of them in that gear train portion but we did it we've got I've only got two left here to get in and yeah I think for the headache your best bet is to just take if you have to do this job split the tractor or take the front end off which once again is not desirable on these things because there is so much it entails really especially when you got 55 year old bulls that likely haven't been moved so and you can just imagine how they'll be so yeah it's going back together it is a nightmare I'm sure everyone who works on these industrial loaders will, will vouch for that so yeah so there we go well I'll keep you posted further